Good morning, guys. Hello. It's like 8 a.m. right now. Let's see what song's gonna play. Hello. My phone just automatically connects. But, so this is like a typical kind of morning for me. I usually wake up around seven and then I usually just read my Bible right when I wake up. Um, it's pretty typical. I'll usually wake up a little bit before Meredith, usually by like 45 minutes-ish. A lot of times I'll usually like be super hungry right when I wake up so I have to come downstairs and like make a little scrambled egg action or something before heading up to read my Bible. Otherwise the whole time I'm reading my Bible I'm like I'm so hungry right now. So um, a lot of times I'll do that but we are out of eggs so I'm gonna go to the store and get some eggs. Classic. <laughs> I'm like in Urban Outfitters like pajamas right now <laughs> but whatever I live by the beach so boho chic. I have no idea what I'm saying. But yeah, so first thing in the morning, I just drink lemon, like hot lemon water. I either do this or some kind of like tea because it just, it just is so like soothing, especially now that it's getting colder. It's just like, feels like a warm hug, you know? And plus apparently it's really healthy for you. I think it like wakes up my digestive, my digestive system a bit. So that's really good. Get some like vitamin C action. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Going to the store. But I'm a major morning person, love mornings. I have most of my energy in the mornings. So anyway, let's go to TJ. Okay guys, it's breakfast time, finally. Okay, I don't know if y'all have ever seen these eggs at Trader Joe's. They're so good though, because they're jumbo. So they're like extra big, so you get all that protein. And guys, if you have not tried this chicken sausage, you have to, because it is the best thing I've ever had in my life. I swear I've been buying this for like years, but I put this with some eggs and it's so good. So yummy. Also, a little tip for your scrambled egg making. I add like the tiniest bit of water to it before I whisk it. Some people do milk, but water for me, it makes it like nice and airy and it makes them real good. So you should try it. Can you smell it? Linnea! Wait, I can't even see you. Oh, it says pause. Okay. I know. Oh, you're, you're vlogging. I am. Wait, Linnea, say hi. Hello. This is my good morning wake up call. Um, so I could be um, Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. I was so excited. So I just add usually some nice Himalayan salt. You gotta get the Himalayan because the regular white salt is not the same. Would you agree, Linnea? Are you white salt? Yeah. Like, that's not the same. It's not. This is the key though. So we have our eggs and our sausage here, right? My little wiener sitting there. Half wiener. You have to try this, people. This is the key factor. Organic spicy taco sauce from Trader Joe's. Put some dabbles of that on it and it's so fire. You mix it around a bit, so good. And you could also add like kale or spinach or other veggies to this. I just recently have not been wanting vegetables, so I'll get veggies later. Yeah, I think cowgirl. I would, I like the one with the chihuahua. I think yeah. that's cute. And then, I think I had one more. Oh, Princess Diana. Wait, is Princess Diana the young one? That's like. She is like murdered. She was mur- oh, so she's gone. Okay guys, if you haven't tried this, frozen blueberries with almond milk and cinnamon. The almond milk like freezes around it and it makes it so good. You do this too, right, Linnea? What is it? Frozen blueberries with almond milk. Yeah, I haven't done that in a while though. It's so good. <laughs>
getting ready right now, but I guess technically this is something I eat in a day. <laughs> so I've been taking communion every single day. So I just bought this little box of like communion cups on Amazon. And so it comes with like a hundred, I think, or like comes with a lot. But um, I've been taking it every single day. I'll link his stuff down below, but if you guys haven't heard of Joseph Prince, his stuff is incredible. He talks about the power of taking communion. And it's just that daily reminder of everything that Jesus did for us on the cross. And especially with everything that I was, sorry, my music is like blasting. But everything I was dealing with with my health, it was so important for me to be speaking healing over myself every single day and constantly reminding myself of that I am healed in Jesus. And so, I do take this every single day. I missed the last couple days, but now I'm like getting back in the groove of things again. But yeah, it just comes with like a little rice cracker, I think, it's not focusing, a little rice cracker and then some grape juice. And yeah, I just, I've noticed such a huge difference and I believe that there's such power in this. So I'll link it down below if you guys wanna check it out, but highly suggest taking communion. Hey y'all, it's lunchtime. So it's like, what time is it right now? It's like 12.30. So I think this is pretty, Pretty typical time for me to have lunch. So I'm still in my pajamas. I'm like kind of getting ready right now because I have to record, I get to record a podcast with my dear friend, Sam. Um, and we're recording in three hours. So at 3.30, we're doing that. But yeah, I'm not like super, super hungry. So I'm probably gonna make a pretty like light lunch, but let's see what we got. Because I'm like trying to heal my, heal my gut right now, I'm not supposed to be having beans because it's like very inflammatory and makes my stomach hurt. But, so I've really missed hummus because I love like veggies and hummus. I found this like herbed tahini sauce from Trader Joe's, if you guys can see it. But the first ingredient is just, it's just tahini. So it's like sesame seeds. So let's see if it tastes good or not. I'm not sure if it will. I'm not really sure if this could be a hummus replacement, but we're gonna try it. It looks very interesting. Okay, okay. Little interesting. So let's see. Okay. It's good. It's not like amazing though. It's like, but then again guys, ever since I had COVID, which was literally like eight months ago, I. Still haven't fully recovered my taste and smell yet. Pray for me, literally. I'm like praying healing over myself, but I can't really taste this that much. I don't know how I feel about that. So we got a couple options here. So I have tuna, but then I also have this. I might just do this. I have like this leftover chicken stuff that I made. Are you guys also like so indecisive like I am? I literally feel like I can never decide what I want. Hey guys, I think we're gonna make tuna because that sounds just like so good. Okay, so we're just gonna throw this together. So I'm just gonna get a bowl. Same bowl I use for my eggs. I totally forgot I had these. I like finished part of this package, but I read somewhere that seaweed's like really good for you. So I've been trying to like do more of that stuff. It has like really good like iodine and stuff. That's your extra, extra virgin olive oil premium roasted seaweed. Organic. Oh, oh, okay. Definitely lost his crunch. I think I left this in the cupboard for too long. <laughs> We're gonna put that away for later. It's like, it's not very good. We have albacore tuna in water, low sodium from Trader Joe's. So we're gonna do a can of that. I haven't had tuna in like a while. It's been like a long time since I've had tuna. But I just like, I like lunches that are easy, like easy, Quick, it's like middle of the day, so I'm usually like in the middle of doing something. Dinners, I'll usually maybe take more time to actually like cook a meat or like bake something, but lunch is just quick and easy. It's whatever's convenient. I think I'm gonna add, I don't think we have any mayonnaise right now, so let's see what we got in here. I'll do some mustard, whatever German mustard is, I don't know. Maybe I'll add some of that like herb tahini sauce. I don't know, that'll be good. We'll, we'll try that, we'll see. This is so good. That's for May 19th, 2022. I don't even remember what year it is. We're in 2021. We're okay. Okay. Um, but is anyone, I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited to have a family one day and be able to like cook 
for them and have a husband and make him like breakfast and dinner. Is anyone else like so excited for that? I think about that all the time. I feel like a lot of people don't enjoy cooking. I love cooking. I think it's so fun. It's so, I don't know, it's just like therapeutic and I, I love food. I love trying new recipes. And my parents were really good cooks, which was so fun. I know that a lot of people are not blessed with parents who can cook, so I'm very grateful for that. So I'm gonna try to add some of this tahini sauce thing, even though I'm a little bit skeptical about this. But yeah, I have parents who can cook really well, and so I feel like I grew up kind of with a general knowledge on how to cook some like nice, well-balanced meals, and um, I always grew up in like a very healthy family, so my mom would always make like pretty healthy meals, which is such a blessing as well. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to like serve my family in that way, like make them meals. I, we always had like the best family dinners at my house and it, there's just honestly so many studies done on the benefits of having sit down family dinners. And I'm just so excited to do that as well. Pretty good actually. So I'm gonna add some of this. This has so many good vitamins in it. This literally has 500% of your daily vitamin B12, um, riboflavin, theothiamine, I have no idea how to say that. Really good stuff, and it, it has like kind of a cheesy flavor. It's super good for you, so highly suggest that. I'm just gonna add in some shredded carrots into this. Here we go, here we go. Again, I think this means mayonnaise or some kind of sauce, but you know. Okay, very refreshing. Needs a little more flavor, but honestly, my lunches are usually pretty like boring anyway, so this is fine. This is good. Have I even, have you been on important? it yet? Yes. Hello. Guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm kidding, this is Welcome to day. my what I eat in a day. Today, I had an apple. I woke up and ate some I figs. Now? I've now. literally, I've legitimately like only had fruit today. I woke up and Are had- Are you a vegan? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, so first off, what I'm having right now is apples, sliced apples. Wow. I don't know what kind this is. I'm gonna add cinnamon to it because cinnamon is so good. And then this, okay, we got the, at Whole Foods you like self grind the almonds, you know? It's so good. So I got some of that. So we're gonna have that as a little snack, but Give the tour over here, Lania. We have some, anything. so we have a whole dinner planned. And we're gonna, we have chicken marinating, which actually I've never marinated chicken before in my life. I have marinated chicken a few times. Probably could count it on But one what's one. in here? Apple cider vinegar. It's apple cider vinegar, olive oil, lemon juice, oregano, red pepper flakes, pepper, salt. Oh, red pepper flakes, it's gonna yeah. be good. Yeah. And then, so we're, we're There's marinating more. that. And then we're going to roast this acorn squash, right? Yes. Acorn squash. And we're gonna pair it with some pomegranate seeds and then... Cause we're fancy. Cause we're so fancy. Mm -hmm. I'll link the little recipe below. It's this girl I've recently started following and her stuff looks like amazing. Yep. And then what's the other thing? Didn't we get something else to pair with it? Oh, Brussels mm -hmm. sprouts. I guess. Hey y'all. The time has come. It's time for dinner. I am so excited. I'm famished. We are literally famished. I'm we just starving. went to Costco and literally got the best pumpkins I've ever gotten. And we're gonna carve them tomorrow with our dear friend Talia. So that'll be yes. a different video. But we're hungry. So we're gonna start cooking. We I found this, so I started following this girl on Instagram very recently. I'm gonna link her down below. Y'all need to check out check out her stuff because she legitimately has some of the best looking food I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe it's only, it's only seven o'clock right now. It like, feels way later. It's it so feels much darker so here. much later. I feel like it doesn't even get this dark this early in San Diego. No, okay, let me see. Yeah, here we are. Brussels sprouts, she has pumpkin, but we got butternuts or acorn squash instead. Yeah. And then chicken. And then she has like pomegranate seeds. So anyway, we're gonna follow that recipe. Oh my God, that's heavy. Oh, I love Brussels sprouts. And we have our little acorn squash. I'm so excited. Guys, I love cooking. Linnea, well, you don't like cooking as much, but you like I've baking. Gotten, I love cooking now that I have to do it for myself. Really? Yeah, I, I like the freedom of it, but I just think I would like it if I was, the more I get, the more I improve at cooking, the better I like it. Yeah. 
I love cooking. I like cooking better than baking. I think you're a natural baker more. Yeah. Which is good. That's why she, I bake the dinner. She makes the, the dessert. She's talking to the boy that she makes. Really? You can't put that in there because he might watch this. Really? Do you think he would? He listened to the podcast. He's my biggest fan. He's my biggest fan. I know. Lydia likes a boy. Just line a baking dish with parchment paper and place the breasts in the prepared chicken dish. Okay, so this acorn squash, would we keep the skin on? I think the skin on is probably Yeah. Good. Okay. Do you want to cut it? Sure. I think I'm so bad at cutting. I'm gonna wash my hands. Yeah. Okay, we're doing the pomegranates. What do you call it, peeling it? Should we go live on Instagram? Honestly, that'd be so fun. That would be really fun. Do you think anyone would join? Probably some. I have like I, y'all, I literally have been craving pomegranate <gasps> seeds. We lost a seed. We're taking our chicken, putting it in here. The chicken in there, there's some thick ones, and the veggies in there. Okay guys, this is the finished product. This is our chicken. It's it smells really so Really? Good. Okay, good. And then we have the squash here, and then the Brussels sprouts. I'm saving that for all of eternity. Sometimes, really? Sometimes I literally hate chicken. Like, it grosses me yeah. out, but this is perfect. Okay, like, so shout out to Shayna. Like You're literally, a lifesaver. finished product, guys. I'm not kidding. This is like this squash is so good. I cannot. Someone believe. wipe us up immediately. I cannot believe I've never had acorn squash. And it was so easy to make. It was really easy, like one pan kind of meal. We're watching Narnia, which I've actually never seen all the way through. Green's literally gonna love it. She is the person that like, like we'll watch like some completely secular movie and then at the end she's like didn't you see how like that relates to like jesus and like <laughs> this person represents this and like i don't know she's like she could be an english teacher with how much she does i literally like can make a sermon out of anything i watch so <laughs> okay guys i hope you guys enjoyed that whole day of eating that was the first time i ever actually successfully did that because usually i'd like start out doing it and then i'd forget about it and i'd never do it so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Seriously, that dinner was one of the best meals I've ever made in my entire life. You guys have to check out that recipe. To end the night, I'm just gonna have a couple more squares of this chocolate, which I got at Whole Foods, which you guys should try. It is so good. I love dark chocolate and it's so good for you because it has so many healthy fats in it and then also um, really good antioxidants. But this one has like a touch of mint in it and it's so bomb. But yeah, that's a full day of eating for me. That's like pretty typical. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Also, y'all, I'm just watching back those videos. And can we all just take a moment to realize that I wore my pajamas all day today. And I made like three different store runs. I recorded a podcast with someone. And your girl wore her pajamas the entire time. I think I'm degrading. I am giving up in life, guys. I've... I'm just degrading as a human being. Anyway, here's your permission. Here's your sign that you can wear your pajamas all day and still be productive. Okay, bye.